It ain't much now, player, but I promise you, this place is gonna make me rich. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to handle a rig. When I tried to get a job trucking, they told me they don't hire kids from the ghetto. Well, fuck. I'm gonna start my own company, and the first thing I'm gonna do is put those bitches out of business. All I need you to do is make sure a couple of shipments get jacked. So what you think? Wanna be my first employee? You never had.
playing when they said you were hard. Then you out on the page. So long, motherfucker. Ah. I'll drop any motherfucker that stands up. Holy shit, that was cool!
sure he's wearing those panties. Get away from me! It's just saying, my Oh, fuck! I know he's your friend, Joseph, but I will not let that Nimrod ruin my plans. Your plans? Our plans. Look, Donnie may be a little flaky, but he always steps up at the end. I certainly hope so. Lynn and I got this shit down. This should be compelling. All right, kids, check this shit out. So we lost the parts the buyers wanted, and there's no way another shipment like that is going to roll through here again anytime soon. Lynn and I did the math, and there are a couple of key cars that we can strip down to get the parts we need. See what I tell you? This guy's a fucking genius. I'm gonna go get the boys ready. So your plan is to go steal cars. You really know how to think outside the box, Donnie. Don't talk to him like that. I'll take your advice to heart. It's not advice. A threat? Huh. How refreshing. Listen up, you old Lynn, d d don't, don't worry about- Shut, Shut up, up Donnie. Donnie. You were saying- I was about to tell you to go fuck yourself. And here I thought we were bonding. Let's go, Donnie. That's probably the smartest thing you've said all day. Stopping those hijackings really fucked things up for the rollers. They got a whole list of cars that they're planning on jacking. Make sure they can't find what they're looking for.
in a contest. I'm the hottest bang on Stillwater. Hey, there's fragile shit in here! Stay on the road! Donnie, slow down. Don't worry about it. It wasn't your fault. I know you are. It's okay. Just relax, man. Yeah, you do that. Later. Fuck! That was productive. That's the second time the Saints fucked us! Three times, if you count the attack on the garage. Quite a coincidence. What do you mean? Well, let's think. The same four people knew about those jobs. If I didn't sell us out, and you didn't sell us out, who else is there? Donnie? Donnie may not like it when things get messy, but there's no way he'd turn on me. Which brings us to... Lynn. Bravo. This is gonna be a bitch to explain to Donnie. Luckily, you're not going to. What do you mean? Please, you're too attached to the boy. I'll handle this. I don't give a shit what you do to Lynn, but you better not hurt Donnie. Of course, Joseph. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind.
Okay, it looks like the cops been getting in on some of King's protection rackets. Now that's why they've been going so easy on the VKs. We gotta go public with this shit. Now if we- Don't worry, Dex. I have something more subtle in mind. Johnny, you can't be serious. Fuck yeah, I am. Where did you get those? Anthony's condo. He had a big mouth. This isn't gonna end well. Don't listen to the old woman. I'll drive to where the cops are picking up protection money. You make them cease and desist with one of Tony's noisemakers. If we make sure the only cops we hit are the ones working for King, people are gonna start asking questions, and the cops are gonna have no choice but to come down on the VKs to save face. Let's do this. So the other day, Aisha's giving me shit because I don't do anything nice for her. Can you believe that? I mean, I paid for her every time we go out. So I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I picked up the check at the firing range. And she goes on and on, dinner this, flowers that. Fucking bullshit, right? Yeah, thanks for your advice, man. You're a big help. Okay, we're coming up on one of the meetings. You sure you know how to handle that thing? Woohoo! Eh, fuck it, they're probably fine. Get that bad boy ready. There's a meet up ahead. Say hello to Stillwater's finest. Man, we should do this every. Hey, next time, I call dibs on the RPG. Right away, my ass. Let's take care of these guys next. Baby! Let's stop by Forgive and Forget before we give our last little present to the Vice Kings. Okay, it looks like the ca Watch your driving, buddy!
So the other day, Aisha's giving me shit because I don't do anything nice for her. Can you believe that? I mean, I pay for her every time we go out. So I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I picked up the check at the firing range. And she goes on and on, dinner this, flowers that. Fucking bullshit, right? Yeah, thanks for your advice, man. You're a big help. Okay, we're coming up on one of the meetings. You sure you know how to handle that thing? Bad boy ready. There's a meet up ahead. Time to say hello to Stillwater's fight. Man, we should do this every week. Time to change. Hey, next time, I call dibs on the RPG. Damn it! Let's take care of these guys next. Hey, the time, baby! Another payoff is going down up ahead. When you say we crash their little meeting? That was fucking sweet! You ready to send a message to Monroe and Kane? This day just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> nice shot, man! But that takes care of the cops. Let's stop by Forgive and Forget before we give our last little present to the Vice Kings. We should have that looked at. Okay, it looks like the cow. So the other day, Aisha's giving me shit because I don't do anything nice for her. Can you believe that? I mean, I pay for her every time we go out. So I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I picked up the check at the firing range. And she goes on and on, dinner this, flowers that. It's fucking bullshit, right? Yeah, thanks for your advice, man. You're a big help. Okay, we're coming up on one of the meetings. You sure you know how to You're coming with me! Get that bad boy ready. There's a meet up ahead. Time to say hello to Stillwater's finest.
Man, we should do this every week. Hey, next time, I call dibs on the RPG. Right, play. Let me show you how that feels. Look, uh, let's not tell anyone about this. Shit, I've been dropping niggas all week. Let's take care of these guys next. Early retirement, baby! Time to visit Mike and Dan again. Another payoff is going down up ahead. What do you say we crash that little meeting? That was fucking sweet! You ready to send a message to Manoa and King? This thing just keeps looking better and better. Damn it! Nice shot, man! But that takes care of the cops. Let's stop by Forgive and Forget before we give our last little present to the Vice Kings. I think the kings are through with the policemen's balls. Now all we got left to do is give Warren a nice final fuck you, and I'd say this has been a hell of a day. Hello? Hey, it's good to hear from... What? Wait, wait, slow down. What are you saying? Look, our arrangement has been beneficial for both parties. Look, why don't we talk about this tonight over dinner? I'm sure we can work this out, okay? All right. See you tonight. Goodbye. See, this is what I'm talking about. Who said you could come in here? We need to talk. Do we now? You've been putting yourself before the crew. Keep talking, little nigga. If you hadn't wasted our time sticking your nose up them white boys' asses, we could've owned the whole damn game by now! I told you before, we ain't getting into that shit. And why the fuck not? That's where the money is! Man, if you got done with that shit back in the day, the Carnales would've been ghosts right now! But you didn't, did you? You were too much of a pussy then! And you're too much of a pussy now! Fuck! You forgot who you talking to! My name is Benjamin motherfucking King! I'm the man who took my crew from being a bunch of baby gangsters in Sunnyvale to being one of the most influential and feared forces in the goddamn city. You know how I did that? I said you know how I did how, that? Mr. King? I did it by knowing when it was time to build, when it was time to watch, and when it was time to act. I'm through carrying your punk ass. If I were you, I'd drop them damn flags and get the fuck out of here before I erase your ass. I ain't going nowhere. You ain't hearing me, son. I said... Yo, fuck that. You ain't hearing me. What is this? I built, I watched, and now I'm acting.
me back my car before I get your help. Christ. What you got in mind? Siempre estoy listo para empezar mierda. Reno wants to see you in the back. What's up, sub, yo? I appreciate you coming around on short notice, man. I got some shit that needs to be worked out. Some cop just transferred to town and he ain't paying me any respect. The bitch came in here running his mouth telling me he was gonna put me out of business. Now, what that Uncle Tom nigga didn't know was I got a couple of cops on the payroll and they told me the raid was tonight. I want you to go out there and stir up so much shit, the cops gotta look elsewhere. And while they on your ass, I can hide all the cat. I know it sounds risky, bro, but don't worry, you'll get acid pay. Julius better make sure he doesn't take you for granted. My mother-in-law's gonna kill me! I think I read about you in the paper the other day. What the? Could you at least toss me my smokes? Help! 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 
your head! Fingers in her legs! Hello! I'm sorry, I'm in a rush. I gotta pick my youngest up from school. Do you have kids? Oh, who am I kidding? You probably have something like five. Oh, never mind. Anyway, one of my colored friends was talking to me, and she was saying that the real money isn't in piano lessons, it's in this thing called coma. She set up some deals with my son's friends, but I'm a little nervous about going into the city by myself because, <laughs> well, I'm not poor. Could you be a dear and help me out? If you do, I'll be sure to write you a nice check. Don't mind the plastic cover. I just have a thing about people like you sitting in my car. I just want to go home. I can't take you anywhere, can I? It's good enough for ball players. It's good enough for me. You don't talk too much. You have a lot of aggression, don't you? I think we need to tell the insurance company about that. Don't fuck with me, kid! This is a lot more violent than I was expecting. I'm not going to jail. Think that was a sometimes I get a little nervous behind the wheel. Well, if you want to make an omelet, my heart. Sure, you can shoot, but can this is so embarrassing. Alrighty, let's go. Don't you agree that the first hit and run is always the hardest? Just fine without killing policemen, you know. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? out of our business. Sometimes. Just take this guy out. Officer, request immediate backup. We're covered for this, right? Are you 
sure they're okay with you doing that? Using that bed, you should see what my 16-year-old can do. Whoopsie-doodle. Do you know how much body work costs these days? Just don't touch anything, okay? You can't hit me! I was the whole pack! Wait till I tell the judge about this! You've made your choice! This is so exciting! Oh, thanks. I needed this. We need to tell the insurance company about that. I got this. You brought this on yourself. Sometimes I get a little nervous behind the wheel. Don't be like that, huh? He shouldn't have messed with us, should he? people skills. I'll admit, that was a little frightening. Would you like my husband's anger management tapes? Ever seen the back seat of a minivan? They say. This is so embarrassing. You have a lot of aggression, don't you? West Side Rollers are nothing to fuck with. If I go there. <laughs> Explain to the PTA. That totally wasn't my fault. Don't you think that was a little overboard? Want to make an omelet? Right here, right now. You think you're covered, 
for this, right? You are so dangerous! Ooh, I got one! This won't be so easy, buddy. Some of us get by just fine without killing policemen. You think does insurance cover this? Whoopsie doodle. You should have kept out of our business. I think I'm really going to get it. I think we need to tell the insurance company about that. You should go shooting with my husband. Don't worry. I'll write the department. Sometimes I get a little nervous behind the wheel. Okay, sweetie. Killing cops is a bad thing. I think it's great that you again. Are you sure they're okay with you doing that? Pour a 30 on the curb for them. Stupid. It wasn't my fault. Lucky day! Go away!
I'm always ready to roll, dog. Niggas, where you at? You Julius, I don't see what the big deal is. The deal is you want to talk to the Colombians without me. We didn't even get to meet him, Jules. And don't call me Jules, you haven't earned it. Fine. Julius, you put me in charge of the Los Carnales. Shit, now you got me saying it. Jax, do your job. Don't think you're bigger than you are. When it comes to the Colombians, you call me. Understand? Yeah. Alright. Now that that's settled... Heads up there. I don't think these bitches stop by for confession. This will take a lot more than that. Who needs help here? What's the matter? 
matter? You don't want to play? Victim his crew is storming the church. This neighborhood's going down here. Sitting around. 
Angelo, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're running off to get killed. Yo no le tengo miedo a Orejuela! Ay, come on! You don't think Manuel is responsible. Are you protecting him? He you want to be with him? <sighs> Nunca me hable así otra vez! <laughs> Where's Gat? Fuck! Listen carefully, player. Benjamin King just called. It seems like one of his boys got a big head and tried to take him out. He's pinned down in the park right now and needs some help. Now what happens to King may not mean shit to you. But him and me, we got history. I owe King from way back in the day. And he ain't gonna eat it if I can help it. You gonna go out there and save his ass. Understand? I ain't fucking around, player. You bring King back here safe, you feel me? Kid Julius said, huh?
not play like that. You got life insurance. So you're the kid Julius said, huh? Gotta be around here somewhere. This is far too oh, You can't hide from me, King! There he is. Drop that bitch. I ain't playing. My wife would kill me if anything Keep it up, player, and we might make it out of here. Two. 